This is Caleb Kerr. I'm here at my photo studio, Moondust Labs. I wanna show you a super cool photography technique that I use in the studio all the time for my product work. It shows texture and detail like no other method that I've come across. That technique is called focus stacking. Let's get into it. A grasp of depth of field is the basis for understanding why focus stacking is a great tool. Depth of field is the distance between the nearest and the furthest points that are in focus in an image. This focal plane is parallel to the camera's sensor and its depth is determined by three factors, aperture, focal length, and the distance from the camera to the subject. What focus stacking does is combine the limited depth of field from multiple images and stitch them into one image where everything is in focus. A smaller aperture, a higher number, creates a larger depth of field, but even with small apertures like f22 and above, the depth of field is not that large, especially when doing close focused macro photography. And if you want every millimeter of the subject in focus, there's a great way to achieve it. Focus stacking. Here's what you need to focus stack. A camera and a lens, which you probably could have guessed. You'll also need a sturdy tripod. This is impossible to do handheld. And I would highly recommend shooting tethered to a computer. When dealing with such fine detail, and a quest for perfection, the back screen of the camera really isn't ideal because you won't be able to see the level of detail that you want. That means you'll need a computer and a tether cable. I've got a large display mounted to my innovative workstation and I can wheel it right up to where I'm working. You'll also need software that has a focus stacking functionality. There are several options out there and you might already have software that's capable of it, like Lightroom or Photoshop. But my absolute favorite, hands down, is Helicon Focus. It works incredibly well and achieves fantastic results every time. If you're going to be doing focus stacking in any serious way, this is a no-brainer. The mechanics of focus stacking are pretty straightforward. First, you need all the settings to stay the same throughout each shot, so make sure the camera is in manual mode and is set to manual focus. You're going to take a series of images, slowly racking the focus from the closest part of the subject to the furthest, or reverse, it doesn't matter, with overlapping depths of field. The smaller the shifts in focus between each image, the more detail information there will be when it comes to stitching them together into a final image. There are mathematical ways to calculate what these increments should be between each focus shift, but in reality, I gauge it visually, and this also is where a large screen becomes important. I make sure to visually check that my first shot is properly focused, then I will run through the focus shift process until I can see that I've covered the whole subject. Go slow, be patient, and do not jostle the camera. A trick I use in studio for all of my shots is that I use a pocket wizard remote to trigger the camera shutter. This works especially well in this scenario when I'm trying to not bump the camera. Once all the images are captured, you'll select them all and send them to Helicon Focus or your preferred software. From there, just tell it to do its magic. It analyzes each image for the sharp areas then seamlessly blends them into one razor sharp image from tip to tail. From there, just save it and it shows up alongside the rest of your images. There are times that you may want to have a selective focus for creative reasons to draw the viewer's eyes to one specific area or detail. And other times you want to show off all the detail and texture in crisp focus. For this, focus stacking is the answer. All right, that's it. That's focus stacking. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you next time.